What's up, geeks and gamers? Today, Mike and I are back with another movie review. This week, we are bringing you one of the biggest surprises of the year, Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves, which is about a charming thief and a band of unlikely adventurers who embark on an epic quest to retrieve a lost relic, but things go dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. So, this movie... Now I finally understand after, you know, thinking and searching and trying to figure out what is the mystery of this entire thing. I finally understand where all of the fun and the humor and all of the things that made the Marvel Cinematic Universe fun went. It all went to this movie. <laughs> so one of the things that I really enjoyed about this film, and I have, I have to say that I actually had a really good time with this film. I, I was kind of shocked at how much I really enjoyed it. One of the things that I really enjoyed about this film was that it kind of almost felt like what a classic Marvel film felt like in certain ways, and but it was like just in the fantasy setting. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who are probably Dungeons and Dragons fans who are going to really enjoy more of the humorous tone that they take with this film, but I personally really enjoyed it, and um, I I had an absolute blast with this movie. I really haven't had this much just like straight up just a good time fun in a movie in quite some time and i think that they absolutely delivered on all of that with this film so i had a blast with it and i can't wait to hear what you have to say mike so what are your thoughts about dungeons and dragons honor among thieves yeah so normally we go see movies together and we like do talk a little bit but we did not see this one together we saw this one different times yeah so i i, I did not know what you were going to feel about this honestly i had a really good time yeah, and I did not expect it. My expectations were very low. Oh man, yeah. You know the the <laughs> articles about this movie are awful. Like it just yeah. all the stuff they tried to hype up about this movie, and it's not really like anything like what the articles talk about. Um, the movie itself is yeah, like you said, it feels like an old school Marvel movie. If you're gonna introduce um the Forgotten Realms, if you're gonna introduce D and D to to um broader audiences, this is the way to do it. It's funny, but there are there are legitimate stakes in the movie. The magic looks awesome. The way that they use magic is awesome. The way that they use wild they use wild magic. There's a lot of deep cuts in this movie. Characters, mentions and references of characters. They reference a lot of different places. At one point, you see a very quick glimpse of um, you know, like some areas in the Forgotten Realms that are like really big set pieces. You know, Baldur's Gate is mentioned, things like that. So, yeah, overall, like if you're a big fan of DD, if you're a big fan of Forgotten Realms, there's a lot of stuff here and there's a lot of setup for potential future spinoffs and, and other movies with different characters and different ideas. Um, yeah, and I was really surprised by that. I know a lot of people are going to ask because, you know, a big thing that we talked about in a lot of the articles people saw was like, oh, you know, we emasculated our men. We love emasculating men and stuff. There is a bit of that in here. You can see it. The men are typically there's there's a lot of bumbling and a lot of silliness and goofiness and a lot of the humor comes from the male characters. But there are male characters in here that are very competent, that are not a joke. They're not silly or goofy. They actually yeah. are good at what they do. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, the the main the main cast members is kind of a lot where a lot of the humor comes from. Chris Pine, something like that. But he kind of plays it as a bard. And honestly, when he actually gets serious and wants to do, like, really lock it mm -hmm. down and do something, mm -hmm. he does. And yep. that was the big part of it. There's no preaching about how women are stronger. There's no preaching yep. about diversity or any of that stuff. It's very much like a, this is just a fun story we wanted to tell. Here it is. Let's go for it. So yeah, I, overall, yep. I had a really good time. Yeah, and that was something that I was definitely paying attention to because of like some of the things that Chris Pine had said before the movie came out. Like, okay, so how are they going to kind of handle men and stuff? Um, like there was definitely some moments where I was getting kind of annoyed with some of the stuff that they're doing. But overall, I think that one of the things is that they for for they they balanced they balanced things a lot better in this film than I was expecting that they were going to. Like uh, a lot of the people that were kind of on the the team of like adventurers and stuff like they, they all had moments where they shone and they were doing things that were like helping the team out and solving problems and all that type of stuff. So they definitely gave 
great moments like that to each of the different members on the team, which I thought was great. Um, one of the male characters in the film who is part of the adventurers, um, he he his I guess his his weakness is almost like a character growth story for him, yes. kind of like a character arc. And by the end of the film, he's actually like definitely like way more like confident and uh you know strong and he's someone who definitely takes all that weakness and becomes someone who's better out uh kind of uh because of his weaknesses and stuff so i thought that was kind of a good way that they kind of handled that as well um and then so so yeah i think that they overall i think they actually handled it pretty well um this film actually reminded me a lot as far as like the humor goes and the tone of like princess bride i kept on like kind of thinking back to that movie a lot when i was watching this film and uh, i really enjoyed that aspect of it as well actually i kind of enjoyed that they kind of went in a more uh humorous type of direction with the film and uh, i thought they actually handled it pretty well it also seemed like they kind of shown a lot of like uh respect for the lore of dungeons and dragons as well oh, yeah. and and they definitely gave a lot of easter eggs a lot of references and all of that type of stuff which i thought was great too yeah so. absolutely i i think overall um the the one of the biggest weaknesses for me of the film this is just me personally um is the villains like hugh grant is the the antagonist of the film yeah but he's not really <laughs> yeah like yeah. it's very obvious in this movie who the villains are, but the villains in this movie are so very like villainous that there's no there's no question. Like it's mm -hmm. not like oh who's the real bad guy in this film? You know who the bad guy is in this film. Mm -hmm. They tell you right in the very beginning, and they and and it's obvious throughout the rest of the film. Um, but uh, one of the things that's interesting is that Hugh Grant plays the antagonist in this film, but he's kind of a bumbling idiot too. And you're like, how is this guy a bad guy? And then you kind of get where he's coming from. And then you kind of understand, like, okay, he kind of balances out the other bad guy in this film who is just so blatantly evil and has no character development whatsoever. They're like, okay, they kind of, like, pack. It's like a, it's like a package. You have to have them both together to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably, like, the only really criticism. They use a lot of practical effects in this film. Yeah. Um, yeah. The costuming is amazing. Like, Dragonborn... Mm -hmm. They don't, they're not CGI people. They're like, they, they like have like actual practical effects mm -hmm. with like, you yeah. know, some CGI to help move things around. That looks awesome. The set pieces are amazing. Like I, I was surprised at how good this film looked. I was surprised at how much work they really did put into it. And then, yeah, like seeing the different types of weapons, the different styles of combat, things like that. It did feel like um, a D&D adventure that you would have with your friends, but it doesn't feel like the bad kind of D&D adventure. It feels yeah. like this is, there's there's serious moments, there's silly moments, there's confusing moments where the party doesn't know what to do, but there's also moments where the party locks in. And I will say this boss fight at the very end is probably better than any any boss fight I've seen in Marvel in a long time. Yeah. Honestly, like mm -hmm. the way the fight goes down and the way it kind of all like plays out, it's actually really awesome. And it ends in a really fun way that is kind of a nod to like a Marvel film, but mm -hmm. also is like its own thing. So yeah, overall, I had a really good time with this film. I really yeah. did not expect that. And the other thing is, it's actually like a family film. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. there's no weird identity politics. They're not, they're not trying to trick anybody. They're not throwing anything in or anything. It's actually a fun family film that I think like you could have a good time taking your kids to go see. Mm -hmm. Like if you were going to an MCU movie back, you know, yeah, five, exactly. five, six, maybe exactly. 10 years ago, you can yep. go take your family to go see this and it's a good time. So yeah. overall, I'd say if, you know, I'm not going to say go rush out to the theaters and go see this right now, but if you're a fan of D&D, &D, if you're a fan of fantasy, if you want a just good, fun family film to take your kids to go mm -hmm. see this weekend, or if you're just like, hey, I'm gonna, I want to go to the movies, this is not, this is definitely worth the ticket price. You're not going to yeah. regret going to see this in theaters. I had a good time with it. So yeah, go, mm -hmm. go check it out. Yeah, and I will say this as someone who's not like super, you know, I don't get super deep into Dungeons and Dragons lore or anything. I've only played Dungeons and Dragons like twice, <laughs> but uh, but they made this film super accessible to people who aren't 
fans of Dungeons and Dragons too. Yes. Like you can hop into this film and you can understand pretty quickly what's all going on and stuff. So I really appreciate that about this film too. But there's a lot that's there for Dungeons and Dragons fans. Um, oh, so yeah, and this is definitely a film that I'm probably going to take my daughter to go see. Uh, and I think that she'll have a really good time with it too. So I'm really mm-hmm. excited about that. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend going to check it out in theaters if you guys get a chance. I think it's definitely worth uh, going to check out at some point. So um, with all that being said, let, let us know in the comments below if you've seen Dungeons and Dragons, what you think about the film. We'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And uh, make sure you go check out geeksandgamers.com and become a premium member over there where you get all sorts of great perks and benefits for that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and we'll talk to you all in another review very soon. Bye. Later.